Yeah, because good morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to session 487 of Empowering Morning Conversations. So after the long discourse yesterday, I'm sure certain things started opening up in your minds. And we are looking at creating life. Okay. So here's the thought for you. Every experience is an opportunity to become a better version of yourself. Every experience is an opportunity to become a better version of yourself, isn't it? Now, it's easy to remember it like a slogan rather than to actually live it. Every experience is an opportunity to be a better version of yourself. What does it really mean? It means that the only thing that I have with me at this moment is now. And in this moment of now, am I allowing myself to fully experience it? Or am I busy judging it, blaming it, complaining about it, or resisting it or reacting to it? So if you are doing any of these things, then we are not fully experiencing it. Now, what is the purpose of nature or God giving you a particular experience? And believe you me, every experience is not a random experience, you know, even though we may like to think so. Whether it's a random experience or not a random experience, it's an opportunity. But opportunities will work for you only if you make use of the opportunity, isn't it? So when an opportunity comes to you and you are busy fighting it or judging it or comparing it with others or thinking that you know better than what um, is there, do you think you're going to make the full use of the opportunity that has been presented to you? So I want you to think about that that an opportunity that has been presented to you, are you going to make use of that opportunity or are you not? So, what we want to look at is our automatic tendency to be judging everything that is coming in our way. automatic tendency to do that, automatic tendency to say right, wrong, good, bad, agree, disagree. Okay, I like it, I don't like it, very good, very bad, whatever it is that we do. So I'm sure that many of our people here might have some methods or techniques to avoid doing that. So I know that many of us have spent a lifetime learning so many modalities and all, my simple question is, have you been able to stop yourself from judging and evaluating every instant of your life? And if you are able to do that, then you can create anything in your life, isn't it? So question is, have you been able to stop that? And if you've been able to stop that, I'd love to learn from you. What is the technique that you use to stop judging getting out of the right and wrong cycle, getting out of resistance and reaction. How would you do that? So if anybody's got any clues about that, I'd certainly like to see your hand raised. Then we'll give you an opportunity to speak. Yes, Mr. Kasha Sai, where are you? Let me see. <clears throat> Yeah, go ahead. After that, Mr. Ratan can speak, but first Kasa, then Ratan, or rather ladies first, we will have Shakti to speak first. Go ahead, Shakti. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Good morning. everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Stop judging is still it's a biggest to go since whether I'm doing it or not. Uh, but whenever I'm getting awareness, uh, 
I, I, I will tell myself to stop judging. It's an interesting point of view I'm having. I used to tell that. And then I will be in that coasting. So I'll try to avoid judging. And then I will ask, who does this belongs to? These three mm. things. Mm. So that helps you. So can you say it again so that others also understand it? <laughs> okay, whenever I feel that uh, I'm judging someone or I'm judging myself, I used to tell to myself, uh, it's an interesting point of view. I have this point of view. And then before asking that question, whether I will check whether it's mine or someone else. So I will ask, who does this belongs to? After hmm. that, I will say this interesting point of view. I have this point of view. Still, yeah. if I'm holding any judgment, I'll uh, frame any questions. I will be in that question. Wonderful. Yes, Great. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, Kasa, you will be able to unmute yourself now. Kasa, you can, yeah, you can unmute so, yourself. Yesterday also it was happening like that, so I couldn't unmute and... Um... Yeah, because I've stopped for people from unmuting themselves, that's why. So okay. when I ask you to unmute, then you can unmute. Okay. Uh, yes, yesterday's session was a very intense uh, session and... Um, um, uh, as I... Uh, throughout the day, I was... Uh, um uh, was was giving my awareness what it is uh i, I was uh, in that uh, felt uh, much lighter that was my experience sir so what was the question i asked oh. how uh how it was about uh, yesterday's uh, no, is that the question I asked? Shakti, can you tell him what is the question I asked? Because he apparently did not hear it. Uh, how you guys are stop judging? If you are using any formula or something, share it with us. That is a question I had asked. But never mind. Thank you for sharing your yesterday's experience. Uh, and yes. uh, uh, for that question, my, uh, you know, um, after access, um, I'm, I'm looking at everything as an interesting point of view, sir. Even my judgment also as an interesting point of view. So that is one beautiful tool, uh, you know, uh, making me feel much lighter. Yeah, but that's very interesting. Little while ago, you said something. Now you're saying something else. No, sir. Uh, sorry, I, I missed out the question. Uh, my apologize. And uh, I was trying to share my uh, yesterday's experience, sir. Yeah, but if you look at your yesterday's experience... Were that you... is also an interesting point of view, sir. Uh -huh, but if you know what you shared about your yesterday's experience would show that you were probably in judgment. Sorry, sir. It's all right. Thank you very sir. much. Sir, um, okay. Yeah, it's okay. Fine, I got it. Thank you so much. Yes, uh, Rasanji, please go ahead. You may unmute yourself. Okay, uh, I've uh, I've learned many uh, modalities, but I just stick to one simple uh, statement and mm -hmm. attitude of gratitude. And uh, that puts me into the right place at the right time. Well, well, you got a better technique which you were doing yesterday. Yeah. You know, if you do that, you will instantly get out of judgment. <clears throat> Correct. That's, that's also, you know, one thing I, if this, the one uh, we did yesterday, one can do anywhere in the world, in the, the aeroplane, in the taxi, in the train. And nobody knows what you're doing. You, you don't move your lips. You don't move your hands. And uh, you just be with yourself. Yeah, you get instantly out of judgment. You try yeah. it out and see. Yeah. It's, uh, the important thing is to notice when you're judging. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Abhinav? Abhinav, you had your hand raised. So I will help you to unmute yourself. Where are you? One minute. 
Okay, now you can unmute. So, uh, so Sukhdeepak, so, 99% of the times I'm judging, I, I, I don't even know that I'm judging. I'm in Israel for sure, but I don't even realize that I'm in spite of Dunya Bharki courses, Dunya Bharka subjects, Land, है ना और uh, it's only जब EMC में आता हूँ that is the time I realized that I'm uh, I've been judging and which was making my life miserable uh, but when one person of the time when I'm a- able to see uh, that I'm judging then I just come out of it I see that I'm judging and I just come out of it who is judging I am judging and I'm out of it yeah beautiful but so, that happens only for one person yeah when you become aware of what you're doing you know, so the trick is how do we stay in a state of higher awareness as we go through the daily uh, tasks that we are doing? Correct, correct. Yeah? Yeah. So you, that is where the problem lies. So there are a lot of people who do a lot of meditation and this and that. But that is only in the room when they are meditating. So the moment they get out of the room, they are back to the low awareness state. So how to maintain this high awareness at all times, that is what's going to give you. That's why some people call it presence of mind, you know. If you're being present most of the time and you're mindful, you will find that uh, you instantly know when your mind is judging. In fact, you know exactly what your mind is doing. Yes, Asina Ji. Yeah, you can unmute now. One minute. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm unmuted. Yeah, go ahead. Hello. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I have just started thinking of five positive things about the person whom I'm talking to instead of judging. Okay. That's what I'll do. But by the way, I'll tell you something. Even when you're thinking positive things about the person, you're judging only, no? Instead of no, having negative I, judgment, you got positive judgment. Yeah, that's what I do. That's better than being ne- negative about a person. Yeah. All right. That's a wonderful thing. Definitely, it's better than being negative. But what if you don't have a judgment at all? I mean, here is a person. He's a person. Or she's a person. You know? Yeah. I, I very good that. what you're doing. I'm not saying it's bad. It's good. But if you didn't have a judgment, if you know that you are judging, you just say, okay, it's just a person. Just a wonderful, magnificent, extraordinary human being just like me. Right, right. I know. Right, right. Right, thank you. Right, Niti? Okay. Yes, sir. Um... So, um, there are instances when I am totally uh, not judging, thankfully I've uh, been able to achieve some of that, is when I'm energetically connected to the uh, situation. When there is no energy flow that I feel I'm receiving in my conscious mind, when I cannot feel it, that is when I tend to get into a a judgment mode. It happened uh, yesterday morning and this is a new technique which is naturally started in me. I suddenly released it to the uh, environment saying that if there is something that I'm missing in this, the energies will bring it back to me. By thinking this way, the attachment from the issue went out instantly. And a lot more situation which I had not thought of around the situation around the issue started coming up and therefore the focus changed totally. The attachment or the ego aspect or I am right and what is the other person, all of that just totally went out of the situation. So I uh, felt more neutral towards it and I'm being able to address it better. Thank you. Great, thank you so much. All right, anybody else? So good, thank you everybody. I just was very keen to know from some of you, what are you doing with uh, the distinction that we spoke about yesterday? So for, uh, yes, Kasa? Please unmute. Um, Another thing uh, with uh, the tool that I'm using for judgment is uh, the crazy statement also, sir. Because 
when we judge we feel i i feel heavy and uh, in uh, that situation uh, if, when i keep repeating the crazy statement it makes me feel much lighter could able to handle the situation in a much much better way wonderful wonderful that's a very good tool to use and that's a very interesting if you do that crazy statement 20 or 30 times in a day your day is going to be completely different yes sir yes sir uh, mm-hmm. like um, for me you know uh, it has become like a uh, day to day like uh, when i wake up certain uh, tools from foundation uh, certain um, uh, other tools and meditation and when with my chant with my daily chant you know all of life and crazy statement also has become a part of my <laughs> regular chant sir mm mm-hmm. great wonderful thank you okay anybody else hello anybody wants to say something <clears throat> okay that's great then um, i'm going to hand you over to mr konen shahidi and he's going to regale you with his experience and i'll i'll say goodbye to you and i'll see you tomorrow morning bye bye very good morning sir very good morning one and all so this is another surprise hmm. okay so uh good morning again one and all to share my experience uh, to carry forward today's empowering morning conversations with sugdeepak malway normally what i do i i keep on telling myself that uh, ultimately you have to face a day of judgment day of judgment as per my belief is there's a day when we all will be present in front of the creator and that will be the day of judgment so i'll be asked what exactly you did so i am no one to judge anything at any moment and other realization what i had yesterday when sir was talking about uh, consciousness so when as an energy being when i am the state of consciousness it means everything exists but nothing is judged but it's very important to keep on reminding ourselves with the practice because when we keep on practicing as kasha mentioned the chant the crazy statement and as sir say that if you keep on telling to self 20 25 30 times every day then that becomes the habit in our thinking process that's the one thing what i do and other important thing what i do is uh, i have made a list of people and uh, consciously i ensure that Uh, i don't keep any negative or any grudge or anything about the individual or if i am meeting someone new so with the awareness of forgiveness so when you are in the mind state of having oneness concept that he or she is like me then the judgment though comes but we don't believe that it is true because it's very difficult to stop judging that's how the brain or mind or we are been conditioned so it keeps on coming so what i do that with the awareness i know that yeah it is coming so go back we are one and i'm not here to judge there's a day of judgment so with that i i manage somehow but still it's all about practice with challenging but every morning when we have the conversation with sudipak malway like this we keep on keep on reminding ourselves that we can be a better version of ourselves and definitely we can avoid 
wherever it is possible to judge others. And instead of judging, we can experience the experience to become the better version of ourselves. So I wanted to share something, but before that, let's listen from Kasha Sai, and then we'll have this uh, conversation going on. Yes, Mr. Kasha Sai, go, sir. Mr. Kasha Sai, if you can unmute yourself, your hand is raised, share your thoughts. Uh, couldn't uh, unmute by myself, uh, sir. Um, yeah, uh, you know, uh, see, we think we judge others. Yes, we judge others. And at times, uh, we judge ourselves also. If we start looking at... Uh, our perspective also has an interesting point of view or uh, with the crazy statement. Uh, see, 99 point in access consciousness, uh, they say 99.99% of the people, they are, you know, our nature is like uh, a sponge. It keeps absorbing the energies of people around us, knowingly or unknowingly. So, most of the time, we just mimic or, or with the memory or uh, what we do is how someone in the family handles that situation, we will handle it in the same way. We don't uh, give much thought and awareness to that uh, situation. So, mostly we act in a default mode with, with some insight or with some uh, with the with the in a perspective or with a spiritual uh, this thing, then the uh, the the situation changes. Another thing is, uh, you know, it's like mimicking. We just keep mimic by un without understanding. And when we are in a creative mode, it is like talking. You know, from uh, looking deep inside us, and when we reflect upon that becomes much aware. And there is another tool which uh, helps to be in less judgment is watching our breath. That's that's a very simple technique, but it's, uh, you know, it has its own challenges as well. But yes, it is doable. Uh, it's, it's part of the Vipassana technique. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Kashaji. Thank you so much. So what else uh, is coming to your mind if you think uh, it's uh, it's a bit difficult for me to uh, stop judging? What exactly is the resistance? That's what we need to identify. Or what happens in that moment uh, when we come into that state and realize that, yes, I am judging now. So any thought on that? What exactly uh, we are not able to resist uh, so that we, we don't judge? Any thought? Okay, if not, let me just uh, share my slides and uh, have this conversation going on. And uh, just Hello. to... Uh, yeah, Hello. Uh, yes, Jigarji, I'll come back to you, sir. Just give me a moment. And uh, as you can see on the screen, just to let you all know, if you are joining this conversation for the first time, or if you're watching this uh, on YouTube, Empowering Morning Conversation, we have every morning, 7 a.m. India time with Sugdipak Malway, where we have the conversation so that we become the better version of ourselves. And uh, we practice intentionally that we don't blame anything, but we start living our life. So various techniques, various tools we learn from Sukhdev Malwai 
and we ensure that we become the better version of ourselves. And if you see on the screen, these are the focus points for us to understand what exactly we are doing at this moment and how we can shift from default mode of just surviving our life, doing the daily activities uh, in a regular way, just managing the situation and being in the more reactive zone instead of creating something new. So we ensure that we shift from survival to create mode. And since we live in the world where definitely you must have experienced the negativity of the people. So we ensure that we dissipate negativity. We don't get influenced because of the negative people or situation. Rather, we convert those negative energy or the moments into positive. And we keep on seeking the possibilities. What else is possible at this moment? What is better? What else I can do to improve myself or contribute something? And we also enhance our focus and energy by using different tools so that we choose the moments of the life, not just give the reasonings and then create a problem. And ultimately, as today, Sudhipak Malavi sir was talking about the judgment, because we have the habit of judging everything. So we practice here to be non-judgmental. And ultimately, the purpose of doing this all exercise and activities learning new techniques and tools is to have a life full of ease, joy, and glory. And this is another mantra of access consciousness, which we all must repeat as many times as we can. All of life comes to us with ease, joy, and glory. So subconsciously, it, it keeps on reminding us that you are in this world with a purpose where everything is there which will be coming to you with ease, joy, and glory. So with that as a mindset, we'll be in a better mood, better emotion, better feelings. And if during that moment some situation comes where we feel that I'm judging, we can come back quickly. So uh, going forward for this conversation, uh, I wanted to talk something on this. What I have noticed, you know, we are very tempted to speak something. If we are having interaction with someone or some conversation is going on. So when we be in the judgment state, we tend to speak something. And that tendency of creating our own point of view and believing that my point of view is my point of view is the correct point of view, we we tend to use our tongue and speak something. And as you can see on the screen, very powerful statement: the tongue has no bones but it is strong enough to break a heart. So be careful with your words. So somewhere silently we do judge, but on top of that, when we speak something without thinking much or using certain words which can break the hearts, other person might not think that, oh, this person is having interesting point of view, maybe we as a conscious being with higher awareness, we can realize, we can feel. But one of the way I believe to improve ourselves with the life experiences to use this. And now just to add into this uh, topic is what I have learned is, uh, as you can see on the screen, there is a one very important part of our human brain, which is known as uh, amygdala. 
So this uh, amygdala is basically the integrative center for emotions, all the emotional behavior and motivation, all the feelings, including the feelings of judging someone or thinking right or wrong, good or bad, all such things. And if the brain is turned upside down, the end of the structure continues with the hippocampus, which is called as ancus. And if you peel away the ancus, you will feel, you'll get the exposed amygdala, which... So I wanted to highlight here is that our brain has been designed in a such a way that is there. We will be automatically coming into that judgment state. But expert says, and with the practice of all these mantra chant, we can reduce the size of amygdala. And when we reduce the size of amygdala, we can have better control of our emotions or the feelings or being reactive in that specific moment or attempting to speak something or judge something. So this is what I wanted to share with you all. Uh, as an extension of uh, topic what uh, Sukhdipak Malway sir had uh, given the thought whether we are judging or not and if we are judging frequently what are the tools we do use so that we don't uh, keep on judging while well, we come back quickly. So with the awareness and bit control of our tongue I believe we can further improve our process of being non-judgmental in that specific moment. So what's your thought on that? Let's listen. And I saw Jigar Swani wanted to talk and Shakti ji. So let's just start with uh, Jigar Swani ji. Jigar Swani ji, welcome. And uh, you can unmute yourself and share your thoughts, sir. Thank you. Uh, I uh, I was thinking we speak about judgmental so very fundamental question I uh, the arise in my mind what is the problem with judgmental see if I see somebody is uh, doing something so I say okay I'm judging no? he's uh, he's speaking lie. That is okay, or when I say he is liar, so that is judgmental. Means judgmental when I say, does it mean there is a problem because we put an impression in our mind that always somebody is liar? Or if in a situation, okay, he is speaking lie, so is it okay or? Thinking of always he is liar, that is what is judgmental means. Because we have to judge now, whatever is happening, we have to judge what, what is happening. Somebody is doing wrong, right? So that we have to think, otherwise, we can't survive. Can you give any examples, sir, if something has happened uh, with someone with uh, some real life uh, example? Yeah, in your life, that every day, I think in everything, we, as I say, if I am, so if somebody is talking, oh, oh, I don't want to go out, right? So he only saying, he or she, I don't want to go out. So we are just, we are trying to analyze, okay, what, what might be causing it? He is afraid to going out during rain, or he don't want to go with me. Many things means everybody, everything we analyzing and we are judging something. Okay, what is the reason behind? So what we call there is just a thought coming every in every situation. We always think what is behind. So are we calling that is judgment because? Without that, it will be very difficult. Yeah. We have to judge people, okay? So we have to be cautious next time, okay? Be cautious about that. 
uh, see or he don't like to go in a rain, see, speak lie in such a condition. So that always we have to remember, na? Okay, I got your point, sir. And uh, the similar question uh, I had asked Sukhdeepak sir earlier also. And what I remember, and which I would like to share with you, that there is a difference between judgment and evaluation. So whenever you think that you are in the state of judging someone, or if you think that you have to judge, otherwise how you will progress, uh, change the word from judgment to evaluation. And evaluation means about understanding the facts as is in the very neutral and objective manner. While when we use the judgment and what we are talking here is a judgment is opinionated and very subjective and it's more emotional than being evaluation means you are just a neutral without adding any your emotions or thoughts or something you are just as is situation with the factual data or information but when we become judgmental we become more emotional by having the self-righteousness approach that i am right and that creates a problem. So if we can differentiate being judgmental or being in the state when I can evaluate without putting my opinion, just being natural based on the facts as is, then of course we have to. And that's what one of the sessions of Dupak Sarah had taken, that how can we shift from being judgmental to being neutral and evaluate the situation i hope uh, this clarifies something to you sir jigar sir okay maybe he is not able to unmute but why yes, yes. Uh, now i am able to admit it's okay, okay. I, I understood i will means a deep sub subject right need to be studied I means when it is evolution and uh, what is judgment so because is it bias or not because i i might feeling you i'm not biased i'm taking it as it is right so need to practice this more, I will try and see what improvement it causes. Yeah. And thank you. Thank you, sir. The, one of the easiest ways is that whenever you feel that uh, you are thinking that uh, you are right in that specific moment, and as soon as we attach or label right and wrong, good and bad, then we go into the judgment state. As an energy being at higher conscious level, everything exists and nothing is judged. It means there's no right, wrong. There's no good, bad. It is as is. And we have to open to accept as is without labeling that this is right or this is wrong. Let's uh, listen. Okay. Let's listen more on this subject from Shakti ji and Niti ji. Both are on camera. So if you would like to add on some to this, uh, the question of Jigar sir. Uh, Shakti ji, go ahead. Yes. Sir, when, when we are judging, we will, we will be in the contract mode. It's not in expansive mode. We won't allow that. There is no allowance. Okay. Uh, judgment always will give the narrow perspective. Okay. It will be very... Uh, Always you will approach people or situations, circumstances, whatever your point of view, it's like, a, yeah, I am right. This is wrong. That kind of mode always will be. So it will be very narrow to you. You are having a very limited choice. 
but if you are in evaluation mode okay you are ready to see as it is so always will be in the expansive state you are ready to see others point of view as well so when you are in judging always you tell this like uh can you see that use the clearing state uh, crazy statement that will give immediate clarity that tool you can use it if you are not sure whether you are judging or uh, you are evaluating you are not sure about it okay use the crazy statement everything is the opposite of what it appears to be nothing is the opposite of what it appears to be you tell this statement for few times then again you uh, uh, go with that situation then you will get in clarity like whether you are judging or you are evaluating this tool will help you to identify that so this all from my side sir yeah thank you shakti ji and uh, let's listen from niti ji uh yes kunet sir uh kunet sir this takes me back to the example i was sharing about my experience yesterday uh what i have understood and what i am attempting to practice is um, it is the personal attachment to a situation to a decision that is what brings judgment the moment you take out the personal attachment uh one is in a neutral state and is able to see a lot more the moment the personal attachment comes like shakti was saying we get into a closed state we, we shut our doors we shut the door imaginary doors in our mind in our ears and we stop hearing and we stop evaluating and when these do, when we are in a neutral state our doors are open therefore it's not only this situation on hand and the five six parameters in front of us but other parameters that exist but we have not noticed begin to come into our view and that is where the crazy statement is very helpful where instantly it breaks you free of that shut state of mind and then you're able to uh, uh, absorb more from the situation then who's right or who's wrong or whose decision it is is not the criteria it is uh, suddenly you move from taking a decision to taking a complete view of the whole thing and analyzing it and working towards the decision the personal pinch the personal um, ego or uh, you know the attachment and the personal hurt the personal emotions all of that goes out of it so crazy statement comes very handy in breaking free of that thought process and coming on to a neutral state where we can be more expansive and take a look at lot more things that are connected with the situation that is been my experience and i'm gaining a lot from it thank you yeah it makes sense uh, and just to add on to this uh, jigar ji uh the crazy statement of what uh, niti ji mentioned and shakti mentioned is basically a hacking mind is a tool to hack your mind uh, because uh, our mind is one of the very complex thing and uh, though we believe that uh, we we own our mind but most of us conditioned in a such a way that the inner voice the stream of thoughts are always there so mind keeps on telling something to us and the mind has been designed basically to protect us so any thoughts which we normally we don't realize but uh, unconsciously is there so this crazy statement is basically to hack that and uh, bring the mind into the neutral state so that we don't remain in the judgment state of right wrong good bad but we become more aware and neutral so that's and it's been a proven technique been practiced by uh, millions of people very successfully getting very positive results so thank you so much shakti ji and niti ji to remaining and let's listen from shanti ma'am uh, your thoughts or if you have any question or something to add on to this empowering morning conversations 
brain to think about the situation but when you when there is a communication between two people first listen more give time some time and then respond and then respond when you listen um, carefully with all your attention Uh, these judgments you know, i am right or wrong i am right these kind of things will subside when the listening is very intense and give some time and then respond to the situation when we judge when we want to be when we feel that we are right we have an urgency to prove ourselves to the other people that i am right you are wrong this this situation is not in my uh, in my favor uh, this kind of attitude comes in to us uh, we are just exchanging words you have the right to disagree with anybody and the action is in your hands but if you talk something immediately then that the judgment starts working you want to prove yourself right and the uh, conversation becomes very negative instead of positive or it uh, curtails you to understand the facts uh, you just want to take whatever is favorable for you if the situation if you think that if you judge that it is not favorable you want to resist you want to blame other people you start blaming and the conversation goes in a very negative way it is a good habit to just listen to people listen to people when they talk some kind of intensive listening uh this i think this is easy to practice i realized just uh, from yesterday's uh, session and from today's uh, discussion i realized listening is better than speaking we think that speaking is better than listening yeah makes sense uh, shanti ji thank you so much and just to add on to this conversation which i had realized earlier i think i had shared that uh, if you see listen l i s t e n listen so same letters are used in the word silent also just you know here and there change so uh, listening is very much associated with the silence as well so when we listen intently we silent our mind the stream of thoughts and it's very useful because uh, and also it reminds me what sukhdeepak sir has told uh, on many occasion that communication has solutions of all the problems and communication doesn't mean only talking the 50% of communication is listening listening intently and also sukhdeepak sir has told that uh, effective communication means listening each and every word of the other persons without changing the meaning of that what he or she is trying to convey so when we listen intently focusing each on every word without putting my thought or my label or my meaning then it become more effective we avoid judgment so thank you shanti ji uh, yeah let's listen from shakti ji over to you is going to be able to say that statement only communication begins willing to the willingness to accept another person's point of view without changing it it doesn't mean you have to accept that point of view you can it doesn't mean that you have to agree with that point of view or disagree able to say that only sir thank you makes sense but it's bit challenging because most of us are Uh, like i even uh, with many uh, 
practices of such thing. Still, I am very tempted to. So whenever uh, it's very normal for all of us, whenever we are into a conversation, when we are listening something, instead of uh, giving attention on the uh, words, we are ready with our responses. We we prepare to uh, respond with our answers, and that's how brain has been designed. Uh, but with the with the practice. Uh, by chanting or uh, uh, speaking these crazy statements, we can reduce the size of amygdala because uh, in our brain, that amygdala is basically uh, the path which uh, triggers. So whenever we are listening something, generating emotions, and then uh, it get triggers, and then we get habituated in uh, terms of uh, judging or responding or reacting, etc. But with the practice, we can reduce the size of amygdala, which helps yeah. a lot. Yeah, these tools helping us to put it in the present mode. Then we can face anything. Yes, thank you, sir. Very true. So interesting conversations. Hmm. What else, Ratanji? Anything would you like to add? Uh, yeah, just the same thing. Uh, attitude of gratitude is a very simple thing to remember and uh, also the tool of hopopono you know the very few words uh, i'm sorry please forgive me thank you i love you so that that i mean uh, you know i've been using these before i came to in contact with access consciousness and uh, it's, it's like ingrained in my mind Thank you. Yeah, makes sense, makes sense. Sir. That's what is attitude of gratitude helps a lot uh, to tell our mind that uh, even this person is contributing something to you. And as Sugipak sir says that uh, in that moment, having conversation with that person is basically we are experiencing something very important part of our life. And uh, we have to be consciously aware that uh, what this person is contributing to me to enhance my experience of my life. So immediately our mind will get shifted with the feeling of gratitude that this person is there to enhance my life by giving some good experiences. So let's, let's enjoy this moment the present moment and become a better version of ourselves. So that's very powerful indeed. Okay, sir. What else? Most of us are in behind camera. So anything you would like to add on? I think it's about to close the time. Shanti, you want to share something else? Please, ma'am. Yes, then experience become opportunity. Every experience becomes opportunity. When we follow this method, we feel that every experience is an opportunity, not an obstacle or something to resist. And that kind of mode will go off slowly. Definitely, each and every experience provides an opportunity to become a better virtue. Better version of ourselves, yes. Definitely. Very good. So it's about to close today's session. And uh, if we summarize what exactly uh, Sukhdipak Malvay sir wanted us to reflect upon, because uh, his method of uh, teaching a new thing to us every day in the Powering Morning Conversations is to Keep on reflecting, be in the questions that uh, what exactly is uh, uh, there for me to become a better version and how can I enhance my life by getting better experiences. So he spoke about uh, how can we avoid being judgmental most of the time and uh, most of us uh, shared our experiences, our uh, point of views how can we become non-judgmental? So I'm sure there are many takeaways for all of us. 
And one of the important takeaway for me is that uh, be in the present, observe, listen carefully, intently, and uh, think the other person is same like you, with the feeling of allowance, oneness, and feeling of gratitude, so that uh, we can avoid being judgmental. And uh, also be very neutral and evaluate the situation or if you have to, uh, if you are in interaction with some colleague or in the workplace or wherever. So if you are thinking that uh, I have to judge, but shift from judgment to evaluation by being factual as is neutral, that will be helpful. So that's my takeaway. Thank you so much. So if anyone else would like to add on to this empowering morning conversations of today's session, Venkatesh, sir, it seems you are traveling somewhere. Would like to add on something, sir? I joined the meeting just to listen to your shairi. Oh. <laughs> shairi. Okay, sir. We are on Okay, Shairi to uh, create karta hu. Kasha, sir. Uh, so maybe yeah. after your Shairi, uh, can we close with the, uh, you know, the energy generation exercise? Can we close the session with the silent laughter exercise? Laughter. <clears throat> Why yeah. not? Zina ji is here. She will lead us. And... Uh, Let's, uh, but before we close, uh, before we go with the uh, uh, silent, Maybe, uh, uh, after your shairi, also as friends, or or however, yeah. your choice. Thank you. So, let's let me let me invite uh, and request anyone else would like to share something. Uh, Ramaji is also here. Uh, Rama, sir, would you like to share any thoughts on the subject or something, sir? If you are listening to this conversation, yes. Or if you are away, no problem. Uh, very uh, actually, uh, we must not be judgmental, and uh, as I said, we must evaluate because sometimes you may hurt, and the thing we cannot repair. You may reach a stage where uh, there is no going back. Like like uh, you may hurt because uh, some people come across in your life is God will that they just pass through. And uh, sometimes you jump to conclusion, which harms everything. So patiently listening and thinking that whatever thoughts you are getting is a reflection of whatever you have inside. Like it's yourself that you are judging. Like you may have got an experience bitter and that's reflecting. So it's better to wait and have a good thought about someone. Thank you. Yeah, very profound, sir. Thank you so much. Um, and let me call uh, uh, Abhinoji spoke. Uh, Prem, sir, any thoughts? Abu Bakr, sir. Uh, Ashok, sir, is also here. Any, any thoughts? What exactly you do to avoid being judgmental? What kind of practice or the process you do uh, use so that you be neutral, don't judge, and be happy? Any thought? Uh, uh, sir, uh, God give the every person wisdom and judgment use the positive and depend the situation. Okay. So what do you do to uh, judge uh, right or wrong, good or bad? Do you, do you have any moments when I, you... I use a uh, maximum self-use. I see the other person. Other person is good. Very nice. Hello. Yeah. Other person is good. I'm very, uh, attend very good. And other person bad. I'm silent. Not attend. Not attend. Very nice. So you are most of that. Why, why the time the waste? Yeah, makes sense. 
थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सो मच एंड अशोक सर इज विद यस सर प्लीज गो हैड माय फीलिंग इज लाइक अ ग्लास वेदर इट इज हाफ फुल हार हाफ एम्प्टी आई डोंट थिंक आई हैव एनी एनिमीज और समबडी इज ट्राइंग टू बॉम्ब ब्लास्ट मी और समथिंग समबडी इज अगेंस्ट इवन इवन द क्रिटिसिज्म इज इज मेंट टू इंप्रूव मी why criticism you think it it is bad i don't think so criticism is to improve me why does teacher finds mistake with me is it to downgrade me or it is to for improving me so i don't think there is any th- anything negativity anywhere it is it is unfortunately we have given the name to that negative it's the glass is <laughs> half empty or half full i always see it is half full i never see it is half empty so all all other thoughts they never they never come to my mind that somebody is against me or somebody is opposing me or somebody is uh, trying to downgrade me it is it, it, I, i i never experienced that. sorry yes sir very profoundly explained uh, if we live with that mind state with that emotion then we don't come to the judgment the state so i i never come to any judgment i always find ki everybody is interested they they want me to be a better person why why they want me to be a bad person sorry thank you thank you sir thank you so much so it's time to close uh, session and uh, we will close with the laughter session but uh, kasha one thing yes hasina ji one thing i wanted yeah while i was sitting here i was about to eat a banana but on that i have written down everything is opposite of what it appears to be and nothing is opposite of what it appears to be wow can you see that let me zoom <laughs> yeah wonderful can you take a everything picture is opposite of what it appears can you take a picture of this asina ji and share in the group okay yeah very interesting hmm i think this is a statement we should write somewhere and keep in front of so that we can keep on uh, looking at reminding ourselves looking at it, yeah hmm. yeah that i have on my steel cupboard with all the magnets okay so let's close today's session and uh, let me share my shairi and then we'll go with the laughter session सो शायरी वेंकटेश सर आपके लिए है डेडिकेटेड टू वेंकटेश जी हिंदी में है सर ये के संघर्ष के मार्ग पर जो वीर चलता है संघर्ष हम सभी संघर्ष कर रहे हैं जिंदगी में वी ऑल आर स्ट्रगलिंग तो संघर्ष के राह पे जो वीर चलता है वही इस संसार को बदलता है संघर्ष की राह पे जो वीर चलता है वही इस संसार को बदलता है जिसने अंधकार मुसीबत और खुद से जंग जीती जिसने अंधकार मुसीबत और खुद से जंग जीती सूर्य बनकर वही निकलता है सूर्य बनकर वही निकलता है तो वी हैव टू फाइट विद द डार्कनेस विद ऑल द चैलेंजेस एंड सेल्फ बिकॉज सेल्फ is the biggest uh, obstacles coming in in between of our success or victory and the life full of ease joy and glory and one of the issue is judgmental we can be the self judgmental as well as judgmenting the situation and others and the people but when we are in neutral with the belief that everything exists and nothing is judged welcome be in the allowance oneness and we be at peace 
So with this, uh, we'll close today's uh, powering conversation, but we'll go with the silent laughter so that we'll have full of energy and we are ready to challenge the challenges of the day. So Kasha Sai, sir, would you like to come on camera and uh, lead us with silent laughter? Um, so I... Um... Sorry, uh, I can't join in camera. Uh, but, uh, you know, sir, when you are telling something uh, showed up to me was uh, fight with ease, joy and glory. That's the <laughs> news. You know, whatever we are fighting, if we can fight with the inner ease, whatever the... You know, even that fight becomes a beautiful opportunity for us. So, 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 so. Very good. So let's start, uh, Hasina ji. Uh, laughter exercise and what we right. do. Yeah, this tool is basically uh, what Sukhdeepak Malvai sir has taught us that we all have the power to generate the emotions whatsoever we want to generate, because normally and by habit we get influenced by the negativity and we become negative we become emotional and we become that or oh, something wrong has happened to us. But we do have the power to change those emotions, those feelings. And that's what we do. And the exercise is when we say one, two, three, we start laughing silently. And we create the emotion of laughter, happiness and joy and everything. So as soon as I say one, two, three, let's start laughing silently. One, two, and three. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, you can laugh. <laughs> come on, you can laugh. <laughs> Kashaji. <laughs> <laughs> can create the power of love, happiness. Very good. So thank you so much. Uh, stay safe and stay blessed all. And see you tomorrow with another <laughs> empowering morning conversation with Sukhipak Malway so that we can become the better version of ourselves by learning all the tools, all the techniques and all of life comes to us with ease, joy and glory. Thank, thank you, sir. Much. And so one last thing, uh, you know, I, I'm in Bangalore. So if uh, anyone, um, I'm here till Monday. Uh, I've come for a meeting. So like, uh, if possible, uh, can plan up uh, somewhere and we can all catch up. Thank Very you. So news to all, catch up. Uh, Kasha Sai, enjoy, have some wonderful, lovely moments and enjoy the experience of the life. So... Stay safe, stay blessed. I'm signing it off. Thank you.